With everything you've been through pregnancy-wise, I can understand why you wouldn't want one. But have you thought about having a baby shower? I'm only correcting you because this is something you should know if people bring it up. Or... It's called a sprinkle. You know, the second one's always called like a sprinkle. Because it's like, not a, you get it like shower, sprinkle. Sprinkle? I think I knew that. Then again, I'm new to all this baby stuff. Anyway, do you want a sprinkle? Again, I know your pregnancy history and it's got to be hard for you. All right. I know this is going to sound cheesy, but, you know, last pregnancy, I thought it was Joey's and the situation was terrible and I was like ashamed of my pregnancy, even though I really wanted to have a baby. But this time around, I have zero shame and I have you, so I do want like all the traditional stuff. I would want to sprinkle. That makes me happy. So I just want to see you smiling through this pregnancy, if that makes sense. I just want you to remember it as a good thing, not something that's filled with paternity tests or just your usual drama. I want you to just have one pregnancy that's nice, and fun for you, despite the symptoms. I also know um, your husband probably wouldn't be happy you have a sprinkle, especially if he's not involved, just not his kid. I'm not reveling in the fact that he's not going to be happy. I take no joy in that. Um, but I don't care what he thinks. This is my pregnancy, your pregnancy too, and we're in this together, and whether he likes it or not, he's my ex-husband. I, um, I would want you to be part of it too, like... I don't just want it to be my sprinkle, I want you to have it as well. Um, as happy as I am to be a dad, and as amazed as I am to have a baby coming when I thought I was infertile, I don't want any of this about me. You know, I'll watch from afar, but... I knew you would say that, but just think about it. I really, I really want you there, by my side. Again, I feel like you deserve the attention, and I feel like you deserve to have a celebratory pregnancy. But I'll think about it. I know we have some time for sprinkle stuff and baby shower stuff. Regardless of whether you're at the sprinkle or not, whatever else we do, I think you should definitely help me with the registry. So I don't mean to sound stupid, but um, I know about the wedding registry stuff, you know, the knot, all, all both sites, but um, I'm assuming the baby shower sprinkle registry is similar. Um, again, with, with all this stuff, you gotta kind of walk me through it. Don't get me wrong, I'm excited for every little bit of it, but I never thought I'd be here, so... It's all new to me. You know, why learn this stuff if in the past I never thought I was gonna be a dad? It's just like a wedding registry. Same thing, just different items, different occasion. Um, you know how wedding registries have the knot? Uh, the popular one for baby registries is called uh, Baby List. So it like takes from different stores. Uh, I'm just, I'm not the type of person to like put a lot on the registry. I'm not into like, I feel bad like putting expensive items on there. You know, I, I've always felt bad having people buy things for me. All right, but this is a big pregnancy for you. Do you want expensive stuff? Because that's what's important. You know, if you're not the one buying this stuff, it's your registry. I do, I can't lie about that. I just would never put, I don't know, like I've always wanted the upper baby stroller, it gets super expensive, but you know, I would never put that on a registry. Well, like I said, it's your registry. You should put whatever the hell you want on it. How much is this upper baby stroller that you want? It's around, 
A thousand dollars. Well, you put it on the registry, and if they don't get it for you, I will. You'll have one, I promise. And don't feel spoiled or wrong about having an expense. You deserve it. After everything you've been through, you should have whatever baby items you want. No, you're not spending a thousand dollars on a stroller for me. Um, it's just, I appreciate you talking to me about all this stuff and even just offering that because I'm not trying to bash Joey, but he wouldn't even look at the registry stuff with me. He said it was my job. And maybe, but I just wanted him to be, I don't know, I wanted to do it with him. Well, I think we've uh, already come to the conclusion that he's a scumbag. But as we talk right now, in the week of pregnancy that you're in, first trimester, you agree that you want to have a sprinkle. You want to do the baby registry stuff. You want to have a traditional pregnancy with me in the picture, right? I want the whole shebang. You know, I want to do a gender reveal. I want to have a nice pregnancy announcement. I want to have a sprinkle. I want to, I want to take maternity photos. Even though Joey always made fun of me for, for you know, even asking. So, get a piece of paper. Let's start planning. Really? Yeah. I want this pregnancy to be positive for you. I want it to be fun. I want to look forward to... I want to get ahead of ourselves. Let's do it. Hey, yo, baby. I don't think I answered your question before. You can crash here tonight. I have no problem with that. I would love for you to stay. Yeah, so I was wondering, since I'm here, um, would you want to go try that Tex-Mex place that we were talking about the other day? I would love to, but I think I'm going to take a rain check. So I didn't realize I actually have a few high school buddies that live here in Serafina Town, so they said we could go hit up a few bars tonight, catch up a little bit, you know? Okay. I don't mean to sound like a hard ass or sound like your ex-wife, but you did just have your stomach pumped. It's drinking wise right now? Yeah, but the, the stomach being pumped thing, I learned my lesson. Like, that was a valuable lesson to me. I know my limits with drinking now, and when I go out with them tonight, I'm gonna have one or two, and then I'll stop. So, I'm okay. you don't have to worry about that type of stuff. All right, well, um, just remember, two days from now, you have another visitation with your son. I wouldn't want you to miss that or anything to happen you know, with your drinking. I also don't want you to like relapse. I know, it's two days away. I'm not gonna still be drunk. I'm not even getting drunk tonight. You know, but um, tomorrow you and me go out to dinner. I love you. Wait, wait, wait. I understand with weddings, people go off the registry, they have personal items, they want to get the bride and groom. But people actually go off of a baby registry, they get their own up. There's a reason the baby registry is being made. The mom needs... Really? Yeah, and it's always like moms who like tell you what you need. Um, and I'm always grateful for anyone who brings me something at my baby shower. But Brian, my first baby shower, I had five quilts. I didn't even have one on my registry, and I don't need that many quilts. Well, I don't like that at all. Not one bit. Yeah, so that's one annoying thing about uh, the sprinkle. Um, and then, like, with baby lists, the only problem with that site is sometimes you get doubles. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Hey. You alright? I don't mean to overanalyze you, but I kinda know when something's wrong. Yeah, I'm good. I just, I have to really pee. Alright, if you say so. I'll use the bathroom.
Um, what were we um? What were we talking about? We were talking about the the, the, the registry, right? Uh, the baby list. Um, sometimes you get doubles because uh, they don't know the market mark off that they they bought. Um, Miranda, I don't mean to be annoying, paranoid, and then keep prying, but I can tell something's not right. You were sitting here, and your whole mood shifted. You can just tell by your eyes. So what's the matter? Um. Well, I don't mean to be insensitive, Miranda, but you've spotted before, you know, and they always tell you it's nothing. So, like, do we really, are we really going to take a trip to the hospital now, sit in the waiting room, go through all the, the whatever, and then have them come out and tell us it's not, I just feel like it's a waste of time. Do you have any pain? If there's no pain, like, it's just, I think you can wait for the OBGYN tomorrow, babe. Miranda, ever since you told me you were pregnant, I have been Googling things 24-7. So let's see. You were in the bathroom. You look even more pale than before. Are you spotting? Yeah, I'm spotting a lot. All right. I'm sure you're fine. I'm sure everything will be okay. We're gonna go to the hospital though. Okay. Um, Junior, though. No worries. I'll get him dressed, I'll go start the car, and you can meet me outside. Please, God. You'll be okay. Make this spotting nothing. Please protect the baby. Please make everything go okay. By the way, Miranda, your mom's not home tonight. I think we should probably call her. I don't want to worry her. She's your mom, Miranda. She has to know if you're going to the hospital. I'll call her when I get in the car. Hospital in like five minutes. How you doing back there, Junior? Good back there. Hi. Um, I'm here today because uh, I'm pregnant and I, I'm having like a lot of spotting. You remember the hospital, Junior? Today's mommy's turn. Mommy's gonna have her name called. She's gonna go talk to a few people in there. They're gonna tell her she's okay. They're gonna tell her that her babies or your siblings okay, and it's gonna be fabulous. Brian, thank you for being so supportive right now and being strong. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Of course, Miranda. It's my job. Okay. That's really, um, that's really great to hear. Thank you. I, um, you know, this happened in my other pregnancies and I've always had a high risk. I'm just glad it's okay. I'm, gl I'm glad it was nothing. Mrs. Riley, you're, you're perfect. The baby's perfect. The heartbeat looks good. The size is good. Um, sometimes spotting just happens, you know. Uh, stay hydrated. Um, drink a lot of fluids. But um, if, the, if the bleeding gets worse, come back to us. Other than that, you're fine. See, Junior? Told you mommy would be okay. And she's okay. You doing okay? It's late. Probably be a hypocrite and stay up late too, but I think you need to get some sleep. I'm good. Just ravenous. I'm hungry. But emotionally, I'm okay. And I'm happy I'm okay. I'm, I'm listening to what you've been telling me about just being positive and listening to myself with how I want this pregnancy to go and feel. And I'm not gonna let spotting ruin my time. We were just talking about the registry. I want to stay happy. Thanks for letting me stay over tonight. It makes me feel better that I can just be here to comfort you. So this is pregnancy, huh? 
This is the stuff they don't tell you about. Yeah, this is pregnancy. <laughs> Welcome. One minute everything is great, and then the next you're scared for your life. Is it too much for you? No. I can handle it. You're the one that's actually feeling everything. I'm not your ex-husband. I can handle it. You see? Went to the hospital. Useless. Uh, we went there for nothing. I told you the spotting was nothing. Now, now I'm, I'm going to get less sleep for work. But it's all good. I'm glad you're okay. Maybe next time we don't panic so much just for a little blood. I love you, Miranda. Before you know it, that baby in your belly is going to be the baby in your arms. I love you too. Thank you again for everything tonight, Brian.